Thanks, John. Democratic gubernatorial candidate Ron Sparks made a quick stop in Tuscaloosa today. He's touring the state with General Wesley Clark and talking about his lottery plan. WVA's Danny Salter caught up with Sparks and General Clark at Dixie Air earlier today. We've got gambling in this state. The problem is we hadn't taxed it. We hadn't regulated it and we hadn't controlled it. Ron Sparks told us he plans to do all three if and when he becomes Alabama's next governor. Sparks wants to tax gambling 25 to 30 percent and put the revenue in the Special Education Trust Fund and Medicaid. But that's not all. I'm going to fire John Tyson day one. We're going to stop those midnight raids. We're going to put our state troopers back on the highways. Sparks wants to do away with the drama surrounding electronic bingo and create an education lottery in Alabama, something previous governors have tried to do and failed. And I will fight for a lottery. I will not just support a lottery. I will fight for a lottery. General Wesley Clark's helping Sparks campaign. His home state of Arkansas has an education lottery. The general told us the benefits go beyond mere dollars and cents. It's having an effect on the attitudes of the parents and the children so that they understand that there really is an opportunity in America for every child who wants to continue his education to be all that he or she can be. Sparks is also concerned with employment in Alabama. He told us he plans to create 38,000 jobs by building roads across the state. In Tuscaloosa, Danny Salter, WVUA News. Ron Sparks will face the Republican candidate, Dr. Robert Bentley, during the general election in November.